to you so that you want it to continue to work on your Discord server. Okay, so you also have the ability to act, or it has the ability to act like Patreon without paying Patreon-like fees. So one thing that I found just going through uh, OnlyFans creators' discords was is that a lot of people would have a, a section and it would say, you know, um, you know, if you do X, Y, Z, uh, then you will get, you know, this extra benefit from me. So they were using, and if you're not familiar with Patreon, Patreon is basically a tier system where you're saying, okay, well, anyone who contributes five dollars this month will get, you know, these perks, uh, and anyone who contributes ten dollars will get these perks. So they were using uh, Discord in the same way, basically saying, you know, if you're doing this, then you're going to get this perk or that perk, and you can run that through, you know, wherever you feel like running it through as far as getting payment. Um, you know, how they're doing that, I didn't really delve in, but again, you kind of are cutting out the middleman, uh, with something like Patreon or even OnlyFans itself, and you're going straight to the client. Okay. So you also can, uh, it has the ability to create, you know, saved groups and save material in those groups. So this is what's really interesting. So if you have, you know, your, your server, when you go in to the server, you can see all of these folders or groups and you can save certain uh, material in those groups or you can have certain discussions in those groups. So this gives you the ability to put material. And again, uh, you can decide who has access to that group. So if you're just basically going to say, okay, um, I want to just put this content, like it is mentioned about that Patreon like system. I just want to have these images that say, if you do this, this month, you're going to get this from me. And you just basically don't allow anyone else in that group. So therefore the only posts that are going to be in that group are what you posted. So you really have the ability then to create folders that can have all of your promotional material. You know, you could, you could literally like put it, you know, Reddit promotional material this month, Um, you, you, there's a lot of different ideas that you could do here and you could also incentivize people to do things. Now, I don't necessarily believe that it's always the best idea to, you know, say, okay, if you follow or you like something, then, you know, cause it can be seen as manipulation. But if you're doing it on a small scale and you say, Hey, this is what I promoted this, this week on, on Reddit go follow my profile on Reddit you know, go upvote some things or whatever, be really helpful. Here's a preview of this picture and here's a link under, you know, a link to go find it. Again, this is great marketing. This is the ability to not just market to them, but assist yourself on a second tier, which is always what you want to be doing. So it's like you want to be looking at that. You say, okay, how can I make this one action turn into two or three actions? So if you have the action of promoting on Discord and you're telling people, okay, now go do two or three other things. Now it's not just, you know, that you've posted and you now are going to get some extra additional marketing benefits from it. So I definitely could see the use there for that. Okay, so also Discord has the ability to, you know, interact with a highly male target audience uh, honestly, the majority of people, way over the majority, <laughs> super majority. So I'm, I'm thinking to myself, 80, 90% of the people who use Discord are males. Um, so again, as we've gone over the podcast a hundred times, the majority of people who buy OnlyFans subscriptions, tip, PPVs, etc., are men. Uh, so being in this audience, it's 100% the audience that you're looking to target. So if you're able to get in, and again, I've gone over this authenticity, you know, don't jump into groups you don't know anything about just to be there. You know, if you're really in, I'm just going to use like the game Overwatch. If you're really into Overwatch, and you want to jump in and create a Discord about Overwatch and at the same time mention to people that you do Overwatch cosplay. Awesome. And, you know, you say, okay, I sell this, these pictures. And, oh, by the way, I have an OnlyFans. Again, great marketing. You put the time in. 
you know, if you just jump into an Overwatch group, you have no idea what Overwatch is, and you just threw on the Overwatch costume because you thought, you know, okay, if people think this is cool, you're probably going to get destroyed. You know, no one's going to care that you, uh, you know, have this material and they're just going to see you as someone who's trying to sell something. So, you know, find what you're passionate about and take it to Discord. And believe me, there'll be a receptive audience for it. But you definitely have that highly male target group that, you know, definitely people who are on OnlyFans desire. And then you have the ability to set levels of access to areas and perks. So I might have touched on this a little bit earlier, but you basically, when someone comes in, uh, you can set it so that in order to get access to certain areas, they have to invite more people. So this is how Discord has grown very fast, as you can imagine. So if you say, oh, okay, in order to get onto this cool server, you've got to invite five more people to get to this next level to see you know, full access or access to texting or access to video or access to this folder. They're going to run out and they're going to find five more people. And they're going to say, please, just go you know, jump on this server. And those five people are like, oh, this is interesting. And they start inviting people. And you can imagine it grows and grows and grows. So... You also have that ability to set those levels uh, and then get people to invite. So if you're saying, okay, well, I have this picture, and before you were just saying, okay, I'm going to put it out on Reddit and hope that people will see it or, you know, uh, and possibly take action on my OnlyFans, you can utilize a really good picture to grow your Discord. So you can say, okay, I have this exclusive picture, I have this exclusive video, and if you invite five more people... You see where this is going. So that is going to be able to grow your Discord very fast. And you'll be able to incentivize those perks. And then, you know, as I I mentioned at the very beginning of this, you have the ability to show that you are customer friendly. You know, you're down with modern communication and a real person. And when I say, you know, being a real person, a real person will get down into a Discord server and talk to their fans, not someone who considers themselves, you know, too good or too glamorous to get down into something like Discord. It basically shows you're, you know, with what's going on right now. If you're an older creator, you're basically saying, hey, you know, I understand this is where everyone's at. This is what's at and what's happening right now. So, or I say where it's at, and so you want to go ahead and, you know, be on something like Discord because it shows that. It shows that you're willing to get down with, and it does primarily skew younger, so you're going to have younger fans and people who are just able right, you know, in the last few years to get on to to OnlyFans. So, you're also going to be interacting with people who might not you know, necessarily be on some of these, you know, quote unquote, older <laughs> social media channels, um, you know, who might say, oh, okay, well, this social media channel is for old people, you know, that kind of mentality. So if you're down there and you're getting into Discord, uh, it's showing that you are, you know, willing to be on the edge. All right, so that's all the good parts of Discord. So now we're going to go into Discord the bad. Okay, so the site and servers, you know, are private, as I mentioned, and Discord doesn't snoop into them, you know, unless someone reports it. So that means that your brand can be damaged, you know, in an instant, you know, so people can post hate speech. I mean, they can post other creators' material, 18 plus material. They can post illegal things. They can post anything. It's your server and it's up to you to monitor it. So it poses a lot of problems if you're not go- having the time to come in and check it because it's live. It's like I said, it's real time. So if you so you invite anyone and anyone comes in, anyone can do anything unless then they're reported. So you end up with, and I've seen, you know, servers that just have, you know, curse words straight down the line. Basically stuff that used to exist in the very early days of the internet when you would have uh, bulletin board systems or BBSs is what they were called. 
and someone would just come in and spam a board because no one was paying attention to it. Well, that's back here because again, because it's such an open platform, uh, and it gives uh, it gives you all these abilities, as I mentioned before, that OnlyFans doesn't. It also comes with some of the the negatives. So you need to be very active in monitoring what is going on on your server. And for people who don't necessarily have a lot of time in their day, uh, I know that I don't, and I know that most OnlyFans creators don't. It means that you have to devote time to this. And if you're already devoting time to a whole bunch of other social media channels, uh, you really have to weigh, is this one the right one for you? It also means you can't just kind of put your foot, you know, out there or your toe in the water. It means you kind of have to commit to Discord and say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and make this one of my marketing channels before you even know if it's effective because you have to actually put the time in here. All right, so you also have to think that people can, this is another bad thing, anyone can create a server and pretend to be you, uh, you know, like a fake Twitter account, but with the potential to sell your stuff uh, that, you know what I mean, in a, in a full way. And the only way that this would go away is if someone reported it. And how would they know to report it? How would someone know that it wasn't you? You know what I mean? So it's like they, someone could just go on, set up all the stuff that I'm talking about right before that's all the good stuff, and start selling your materials. There's really nothing that's going to stop that uh, set up right now with Discord. Uh, just the way that it's set up because, again, it's a Wild West open kind of platform. And then uh, the next part of the bad is the age verification is flimsy at best. Now, so the site is popular among gamers. And just recently, the site made people identify themselves as being at least 13. And the reason they did that is because you know, without parental permission at 13, uh, the COPA won't allow data collection. So basically there are laws about data collection for anyone under 13 without their parental consent. So they need to figure out at least that people were at least 13 and agree to that. So if you have a site that had to make rules specifically to address people 13 and under, that means a lot of people are on discord who are very young so you know and they can easily just say and they have not safe for work uh, markers basically so you have to say okay this is a not safe for work server pretty obvious i mean this is almost standard this is standard across reddit twitter etc the problem here is is that person can just say they're 18 and gain access to your 18 plus material and there's very little policing to it. So the people who might be consuming, not just from the moral and ethical problem of this, which is people under 18 consuming 18 plus material, but these are people who cannot be on OnlyFans because they are under 18. So they can't possibly be a subscriber or join OnlyFans or have anything to do with OnlyFans. And now they are just uh, absorbing and taking in your material, uh, and you're exposing that material out to people who possibly aren't of age to see it, uh, that's bad. And uh, it's it's obviously a problem. So, you know, if you're putting yourself out there, you're definitely exposing yourself to the potential that people not of age are seeing the material that you are posting. All right, so now Discord the Ugly. So I bet you, uh, you're thinking, how can it get... <laughs> uglier <laughs> for OnlyFans creators and then what I just talked about in the bad section. Well, I wrote a blog uh, this week uh, titled, Yes, Your OnlyFans Stolen Content is Likely Sitting on a Discord Server Right Now. Pretty long title, but it said everything it needs to there. You know, the name speaks for itself. Uh, you know, I did a very easy search on Google for OnlyFans Discord, and I easily found Discords with servers with hundreds of stolen watermarks, OnlyFans pictures and videos, 
not hard. And this is the stuff that's just out there within a Google search. This isn't the stuff, as I mentioned, that people are hiding behind, you know, walls of access or even, you know, trying to hide. You can